This is going to be a video product review of the FOSUM 24-hour programmable digital timer outlet. It's a two-pack. On-off programming, LCD display, mini indoor, single plug-in outlet timer, 125 volts, 15 amp for seasonal light, lamps, heater, portable, fan, or aquarium. I would not put a heater through this. Um, even though you can, it can handle 15 amps, I would still not do it. Um, so, I've never used these before. I never used this model before. I never used any of these before. My neighbor moved and they left a couple of these. They sold and they left a few of these in the house. And uh, whatever was there, they told me to take. So, I didn't have this brand, but I took these things and used them at my mom's house. She had two outlets, two different rooms, and I wanted to have lamps going on at nighttime and off in the morning. And I, hey, at her house, she's got one of those old things they used to sell them at Radio Shack. You had a digital clock, and then you had the module you plugged into the wall, and you were able to control the module from the digital clock. But that clock has fallen apart. The module will still work, but that only worked on two of them. I needed something else for the other two rooms, and so I told you uh, the neighbor left these things at their house, different brand, and I plugged it in, and all of a sudden, in two seconds, without messing with the clock, you know, every time there's a power failure, I've got to go over to the clock, reset the clock, set the time, you put the batteries in, the batteries leak, and you got to clean the battery acid, then you got to set the time and make sure the lights go on and off, and it's just a hassle. So these things. This type of an item is a really neat thing to own. And the advantage of these is, you can see over here, it's not polarized. But it is not polarized, but even if it was polarized, that would be okay in an outlet. Um, yeah, this is polarized. Okay, so that one's wider, but it's not grounded. So if you have an older house and you don't have the grounded outlets in there, you're still able to control your time. So. I don't know what this R is for. I can't find anything that says what the R is for. I'm not going to use the instructions. Let's just see if I can... Can I see this thing with the lights on? Probably not. Um, let's turn off the lights. Outlet on the right side. So it is polarized. If you can't plug this into your outlet, you might end up having it upside down, but that's just how it is. Sorry about the little reflection over here. Mode. You see over there on the bottom? Off. On. So you are able to turn the light on and off, even if it's using the timer. And I'm assuming that. We've got time, so we'll probably be able to set the time over here, and then we'll be able to set the on and off. So right now, and it's got a battery in there that's good for about 100 hours. So I've got my clock over here. Let's see how hard this is for somebody to program who is not really good with this stuff. You press the time. And so we're right now at 5.55, so I'm going to go to 5.55 p.m. That's really easy. How, how simple is that? And this does have a 12 and 24 hour mode from what I read. So you've already set the time. Very simple. Now let's say that I want this to come on at 6.05 p.m. I'm going to press the time again. And let's see how it's already it's holding the time of the clock. So I want this to be on at 6.05. That, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on. Okay, it's not going to use the time. It's going to start all over. And we're going to do 6.05 p.m. Let's double check that, 6.05 p.m. And we're going to turn it off, so we're going to press the off, and we're going to do 6.10 p.m. Oops. We're going to write a.m. 
6.10 p.m. So you see I've got my 6.10 p.m. And I don't know because it did say it had a 12 or 24 hour mode. So how, let's see, we'll press this and see what we get. We're still at five. Do I get my 24 hour mode? So that's the time. That shows, I don't know why that's showing on right now. And that is showing off, so I don't understand that part of it. Oh. Yeah, that's it. You click that, it's on. You click this, it's off. I don't, again, know what the R is. I don't know how to get it to 12 or 24 hour time. Let's go press this. Maybe I can press this twice. I don't know. Sometimes it pays to read directions and instructions, but I'm a guy, so that's never gonna happen. So we're in 12 hour mode when you set it up. You press the on and off button at the same time. You go into 24 hour mode. Uh, we are now in uh, 1759 hours. Press the two of them again. We're back to regular 12 hour time. This will, I believe, only turn on the unit once in a 24 hour period and turn it off once in a 24 hour period. This, I thought this was a light, it's a little hole over there, and that R is for reset. So if you plug this thing in, press a little pin in there if you want to, it'll reset the thing, or just, I don't know why you'd want to reset it, just readjust everything. But you could uh, press that button to reset it. They say plug this thing in, let it, let the batteries charge up for about 10 minutes, and then you get our 125, 15 amp general purpose. 10 amp tungsten, UL standard, made in China. So these things are really cool. They are definitely cool. And do I want to? Do I need to plug a lamp in here so you can see the light go on? I don't really think so. But I showed you how to program it. So again, both buttons for 12 to 24 hour time. Press the time button and then do hours and minutes to set your time and let go. If you want to set your on time, press the on button, do your hours and minutes. You want to set the off time, do your hours and minutes mode. You can press that button, the light's going to go on without worrying about the timer. So if you, you have this set to go on at 6 p.m., but maybe it's 5 o'clock and you want the light to come on, press that. Press it again, you're just at the timer, press it again, you're it off. These things are really cool. They, what did I pay for this thing? I guess I should look at what I, what did I pay for this thing? So it's a two pack. It's not bad, you know? It's gonna make it really easy for me. I'm gonna go over to my mom's house. These are already programmed. I'll plug them into the outlet. I'll plug the lamps in there and I don't have to mess with that old style Radio Shack type module and clock anymore. And when she has a power failure, I don't have to worry about resetting the clock, resetting the timers, the on and off. It's going to be really easy to deal with daylight savings time. Just go over there, press the, uh, the time button, press the hour until I get to the right thing. Uh, when it's darker or lighter, just go in here, press the uh, on and the hours, the off, the hours. It'll be really easy to set everything at my house and then go over there and plug it in. And when I need to go over there, during the uh, time changes and the, the sun setting earlier or later, really easy. I totally recommend these things. You watch me go through programming it without looking at the instructions. Very simple to do. Made by Fosmon or sold by Fosmon store. And why did I buy this? There are other companies that sell this. I looked at the reviews on some of these and I know most of these things that they sell online. They're all made by the same company and they just repackage them a little bit and they put different names on them and different labels. But this was one of the companies that had the least complaints and the best comments. And I thought if I'm going to buy this thing, it, I just want to spend a little bit extra money and buy something that's a good quality. So it's a two pack. You're going to be very happy. I'm happy. I'm happy I bought this stuff so I don't have to deal with that clock, which I just had to deal with it again. Clock went out. The displays at my mom's house, they're not showing up properly anymore because it's so old. So go spend a little bit of money. Uh, you'll be happy you bought these things. I'm happy. I'm thrilled. Can you hear it in my voice? Woo-hoo-hoo. Click on the, uh, the purchase link. 
the affiliate link in the video description if you want to buy these things it will help me out a little bit I'll get a few cents from Amazon thumbs up subscribe like share leave a comment you know that whole thing don't tell me that I could have done this in 10 seconds no this is my channel I wanted to have a nine minute video and that's what I did I don't even know how long it's been thanks for watching people this is in 4k for your entertainment enjoyment look at that